I took yesterday off from being with you all and making this video. This is my second time that I'm reshooting it. I got highly emotional during the first time, so that's why I'm reshooting it. I'm going to try and withstrain my emotions, but that's hard to do when I'm very emotional and when I love so deeply. I was blessed to hear from two places today uh, with sympathy cards, and it was a very thoughtful and very compassionate thing to do to send a sympathy card. And um, one was, of course, Dr. Albin, which was Sam's vet. I'm going to try and hold this together. With deepest sympathy, when you plant this paw in your garden, wildflowers will bloom year after year in memory of your much-beloved pet. Plant me, I bloom. Please accept our deepest sympathy from Albin Animal Hospital. And they also enclosed a beautiful wallet card. <sighs> My favorite colors, and Grandma's too. I always say I have favorite colors, but in reality I have lots of favorite colors. Um, this was just a majestic way of, of them uh, showing off uh, paw prints with a flower garden. There's some pink roses, there's some purple, it looks like um, flowers, pansies maybe with a little bit of yellow in it. Um, just beautiful card. For those we have lost but remember in our hearts on the back. There's a special place in our hearts for those we have loved. For those who have loved us without question, without a word or promise, there's a special place where there's no pain or fear. Where love flows freely, there's a special place to rest in our hearts forever. And that was a very kind thought, a very thoughtful thought, remembering Sammy that way. Thank you. There's moments and, and things that I can still think that he's in this room. If something drops, I think it's him pushing it off of something, whether it's my work table or my bed or just around me. Like, though he would get gnawing at with his claws at my chair for attention. He would want me to use a brush or a comb on him for attention. And it just feels like he should be here still. Um... My bank, I had talked to several of the bank tellers there, and they got together and sent me a beautiful card. And in the card, it says, Donna, thanking of you. We're wishing you moments of peace and comfort as you remember your cat, who you love so much. We're sending comfort and hugs your way. Sincerely, the bank staff, thank you. Greatly appreciated. More than you know. And, uh, I just, oh goodness. It is a rough time still. There's moments, there's times that it still gets to me. But I'm trying to be holding things all together and, and, and persevere forward because that's what Sam would want. Um, he was a very loving, a very kind cat. And it's a very deep wound in my heart. We went to the Dollar General tonight. And the one down here on Lakeland. We haven't been there in forever. But that's the one we went to. And um, I saw a friend there. And um, I told him about what had happened. And he just said, you know, he's out of pain. He's out of suffering. you got to remember that. It doesn't make it much easier. But... Uh, I was grateful for the comfort and the thought that knowing he was with Grandma. So thank you for that. And um, we do have to focus on June. So let's uh, try and happy this up here. And I'm going to try and stop crying so much. So God bless me on that. Um, Anyway, let's focus on June, which is Grandpa's 98th birthday. I want everyone to send a card, to send a letter of happiness, thoughtfulness, kindness, and all around well wish for his birthday. Not many people live to be 98 years old and a World War II veteran. We should thank him for his service to his, our country. We should, you know, appreciate him for the absolute jewel and um, wonderful man that he is.
please send him a birthday card at Wayne McDowell, 901 South 15th Street, Mattoon, Illinois, 61938. Thank you, and God bless.